Hi everybody, I'm Greg from Kybeck Tech Support. Um, we're going to show you today how to uh, change out a switch uh, on the 1750 and it's pretty much the same with, with any the 12, 1200 or 1700 series. But you may be replacing a single switch, both switches, um, the switch plate. Um, now if you're just replacing one switch, it's actually easy to just remove the switch plate, pull it out, unplug your wires on the back of the switch. Um, there's little tabs on the back of the switch you squeeze and the switch will pop out. Rewire your new switch, pop it in, and then reattach these screws. So in order to do that, first thing you would do is take this black knob off. Um, there's a little Allen wrench. It's either going to be here on the side, or on the very back. Um, if you don't have an Allen wrench, that might be one reason for, for going to the inside to do this. But uh, once you take the black knob off, you remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw, and then the, there's enough play to pull that out, undo your wires, and pop your new switch in. Um, now if you're replacing both, it's actually easier to just go ahead and drop the black box. Um, that way your wires don't get all mixed up. Um, or if you're replacing the switch plate. Now if you're going to do the switch plate, you'd want before you drop the black box, you want to go ahead and remove this knob, take these four screws out, and then drop the black box. So um, let's show you real quick. We're going to drop this black box. So you're going to remove um, this screw above the switches. You've got some wing nuts over here, one on each side. Again, we're going to leave the ones alone down there by the wheels. Um, once you get the screws off, you just kind of lift up a little bit on the tank. Oh, just connect this hose. Lift up a little on the tank and pull back on the black box. So, if you're replacing the vac switch, there's a piggyback connector here. So it's basically you got two um, wires coming into one. So you pull the whole thing off, just kind of wiggle it. Sometimes you got to take them off individually. There we go. Keep that connected so I don't get that mixed up. Now, if you wanted to, you could put a piece of masking tape or something on there, or mark it. Uh, I just push it off to that side so I don't get it mixed up. Then you're going to take the one off the bottom. Get you some channel locks and try to get it to the right size. These are a little big. If you can see, there's a little tab here and there's another one on the other side. So, with the channel locks, I'll just pop on both sides of the switches and the switch will pop out. If you can see on the side of this switch here, this is the vacuum switch. It's a 15 amp switch. The new ones are white. Uh, so they don't get messed up, but um, what's most important is that amp rate rating there. The vacuum is 15, the pump is a uh, 5. So let me pull off the... Again, try not to get your wires mixed up. <coughs> there you go. There's your pump switch. Notice it's a five amp switch. So if you're just replacing your switches, um, you just want to pop the new ones in. Um, now if you were replacing your, your switch panel, there's really no need to take those switches out yet. 
if you are replacing your switch panel though, you're going to need to disconnect the power meter. You just want to pull the white wire off the hour meter. You need to put this um, piggyback on the uh, new switch. Usually, you just squeeze it and it comes right off. Bending the heck out of it. There we go. Again, um, now if I if I was changing out the switch panel, I would have already taken those uh, screws out, so the whole switch would come off. Don't forget about the black knob. Uh, but on this one, we're just going to replace the switches. <coughs> so you want to get your uh, your new 15 amp switch. Make sure you're going to be putting it in the right slot. We'll pop it in. Grab your 5 amp switch. Pop it in. Now you're going to take your one, your piggybacked, um, and it goes to the top. And then take the one from the other side, and it goes to the top as well. Now the our meter goes onto that same one. So when you find the one, what, um, that our meter is already connected. So this wire here, I need my vacuum switch. So this is my wire coming straight from my back motor. My black wire from the back motor is going to also go on that top piggyback uh, terminal there. And then my black wires coming from my pump, or coming from the rectifier, goes to the pump's uh, top one. Now, on the bottom of each one of these switches, you want to find your main wiring harness coming in, which is right here. If you notice, you got a black wire that splits off into two. That's going to go to the bottom of each switch. It doesn't matter which one it goes to. And then the white wires coming from your, your main harness coming in splits off into four. It's hard to see that on here, but that's what these, they go to the bottom of each of the hour meter switches. So there's a jumper wire that goes from the top of your hour meter to the piggyback at the top of the switch and there's a jumper wire that goes from the top of this hour meter to the top of your vacuum switch. Um, and that's it as far as replacing the switches. If you're doing the whole switch panel you would just move your switches over to the new panel, move your hour uh, meters over to the new panel. If you're doing a whole panel assembly maybe you've ordered it and it's coming with the switches um, the biggest thing is, is not mixing up your wires. If you need to put masking tape on each one of them to tell you where they go, uh, you can even take a picture. If you got a, a cell phone camera, take a quick picture. And as you disconnect them, try to keep all the wires from this side on one side and all the wires from that um, side over on that side. You can use, there, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can keep them from getting mixed up. Uh, I've even used uh, little paint markers on each one. Uh, just kind of color coded but that is all you really need to do to replace your switch or switch panel